Hello friends, welcome to this latest episode of 5 minutes please, bus 1 minute. Today, I am taking you back to 1991-1992. That was a time when there was a boycott of elections. In 1991, when Mr. Chandrasekhar was the Prime Minister of India and elections were called and Congress in Punjab decided to boycott the elections. And then there were some killings in Punjab and ultimately the Punjab elections, the elections Lok Sabha were cancelled or they were abandoned. And subsequently, Congress came to power with a minority government at the center and then they ordered that Punjab polls will be held along with assembly elections in 1992. Then Shromni Akali Dal, Badal group, the main Akali Dal, decided to stay away from the elections. So now when we say till now, Various parties have announced their candidates and no one from the Badal family has so far been named as a candidate for the 2024 general elections. There is still time and one must hope that there will be one or more representatives from Badal family in the fray. But till now, there's none. Same was the case in 1992 when Shromni Akali Dal Badal decided to stay away from the election on the plea that in 1991 when the elections were announced and they were all campaigning and so many Akali leaders and workers, they were killed in secessionist violence because some of the militant organizations had given a call to boycott the elections and Akalis defied those um, boycott calls and joined the election process and they had put up their candidates, they were campaigning, they were doing everything and still many of their workers and leaders, they were targeted by militant organizations. So they lost more than 20 workers and leaders in that violence. But when elections were cancelled at the last minute, at the instance of Congress, because Congress got into power at the center after the coalition government led by Mr. Chandrasekhar lost the mandate and had to go out of office. And Mr. P. V. Narasimha Rao took over as Prime Minister of a minority government with support from some smaller parties and groups and individuals like independents. Congress had only 222 MPs in that Lok Sabha to start with. Since the Kali Dal had boycotted, so Jammu and Kashmir elections were also not held. Subsequently, in 1992, as I said earlier, when assembly elections were announced, Punjab went to polls and C, out of 13 C's, 12 went to Congress and one went to BSP. 12-1 was the score. As Shromni Akali Dal Badal stayed away, but another Akali Dal led by Captain Amrinder Singh, who was very ambitious at that time that in 1992 assembly elections, he could become chief minister. As it was speculated at that time that Congress and Shromni Akali Dal Amrinder were playing a friendly game and uh, Shromni Akali Dal Amrinder put up 57 candidates and won only three seats, including his unanimous election from Samana. Though he lost from Karar and he lost his security deposit and he was defeated by her Nekhsinkar Uwa of Congress. And in that Assembly election in 1992, Congress won 87 seats 
and Shromni Akali Dal Amrinder Group won three, and BSP of all parties was the second largest party with nine seats. So that was how when Akalis stayed away, this is how the election scene and election results depicted. BJP at that time won six seats in the absence of their traditional alliance partners, Akali Dal, and CPI won four. As I mentioned, Amrinder Singh led Akali Dal won three, CPI M won one, Janta Dal won one, United Communist Party of India won one, and IPF won one, and there were four independents elected. So, Congress won 87 seats, but total percentage of polling in that election by courted by mainstream Akalis was around 21%. So the call by Akalis to boycott the elections had a good impact. That's why that was the time when it was the lowest polling ever in Punjab and also without Akalis and no Badals. So only election after 1966 when no one from Badal family contested those elections. So that was unique election in more than one ways. And then Bian Singh government came to power and ultimately you know the history. After assassination of Bian Singh, then Mr. Harjohan Singh Brad took over and after a while, Punjab had its first women chief minister in Mrs. Rajinder Kaur Battle. So that was the history of 1992 to 1997 assembly elections as well as Punjab's Lok Sabha elections. So even during the, the that boycott period, BJP couldn't win even a single Lok Sabha seat. And even Shromni Akali Dal Amarinda also couldn't win even a single seat. Only BSP got one seat. That's, that, that was all. The rest, all 12 seats went to Congress. So this time, things are so different. This time, if Badals are not contesting, it's not because they are boycotting elections. No, they are participating. But there is general feeling among electors of Punjab. And there is a suggestion from various political circles that Badals should better stay away from elections. And in case they have to contest, they may contest from Batinda, where Mrs. Hasimrat Kaur Badal is the sitting MP. So all said and done, it is in the final stages. So picture will be clearer by end of next week. And I hope Punjab will produce some surprising and some good results and may throw up some good candidates. It is not good. So many turncoats are in the fray already. And as we have been mentioning earlier, the latest to join the turncoats is Pawan Tinu of Shromne Akali Dal. He has joined up and he may be up candidate from Jalandhar. So number of candidates who have switched loyalties at this stage and are already in the fray, the number may be touching the double figure mark very soon. So let's hope so. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope Punjab produces something unique, something different. So I hope this election will be a new trendsetter in Punjab. That, that's, that's all for this episode. I'll come up with a new subject in the next episode. Till then, goodbye. Stay happy. Keep smiling.